Welcome back guys. This video I'm going to show you what is the meaning of ratio rates and proportion and how can you recognize them okay and how many different oil you can you know express. So if you see down here the ratio is basically comparison between two same quantities okay or we can simply say ratio is a quotient of two same number because you're going to have some fraction okay. So how many different oil you can write it down? Let's actually work it out. So number one, I can say A is to B. That's one oil we write down the ratio. Number two, we can say A to B. Number three, we can say A over B. Look, these three different oil, we can actually write the ratio. That's one way of writing ratio, that's another way of writing ratio, and that's another way of writing ratio. So that's three different ways we can write down the ratio. Okay, and always at the end we should reduce the ratio if possible. Okay. So you know sometimes we see some qualitative data. In this case, well, we can actually look into that duck is here. As you see, two group of duck is given, right? We're gonna represent them as a ratio. So I want to make sure you stay with me and follow what I'm doing here, right? So look at this here. This is a group one and this is a group two. So the group one has how many duckies and the group two has how many duckies? We're going to count them. I will. I'm going to count with you, okay? So if I look into this, right? First group has how many duckies? Basically one, two, three, four, five. So five duckies. Second group has how many duckies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven duckies, okay? Seven. All right, so since we know five, one in a group, first group is five, second group is seven, I can actually express it as a ratio. How do I do that? Let's take a look here, guys. So I can say five is to seven, or I can say five to seven, or I can say five over seven. Now notice that I can put down the unit also. Let's do this here ducks versus ducks now there is something amazing will happen since the unit is same right we don't have to write down the unit we can say 5 over 7 that is the reduced fraction in a ratio or you can say 5 is to 7 so that is pretty much as you see down here right that's how we can come up with from this one here see number wasn't given right but we look into that figure and we say oh that much and versus that much and we come to the converting into a, you know writing form and the unit is gone so final finally this is our outcome for ratios okay so let's take a look on rate. What is the rate? Rate is basically comparison between two different quantities, okay, or simply quotient of two different numbers or two different quantities. I shouldn't say number, quantities. It can be anything, okay? All right. So this group clearly, and we're going to actually work it out how many of them here versus how many person is here. So I see one, well, as you see down here one two three four oops actually i'm going to do a different one here okay so i'm going to do a little bit here yeah. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i do have 12 ducks 12 ducks okay and clearly that's a four persons easy to go right okay now we're going to form into a rate so let's take a look here so i can say 12 duckies okay now i'm ready to actually work it out so i can say 12 ducks versus four persons okay now i can reduce it it's going to be three is going to be one okay so i can say really three is to one 3 over 1 ducks over per person. 
this time, right? So I clearly see the rates, uh, units are different. Look at that, units, this one is a dux, this one is a person. So we cannot really cancel these units, okay? It's gonna stay. Why? Because this rate, you have a different unit. So the, our answer we can write down, three, final answer, reducing, three is to one or three dux per person. Well, that could be the best output here for us with the rate. Okay, guys? Now, let's take a look on proportion. So, proportion is basically, proportion is basically, statement of equality between two ratios again let's have it more detail on detail so proportion is basically if you assume two fractions are equal to ratio two fraction to two something is you assuming they're equal right so you know i'm going to put down something here i'm going to say a over b a over b equal to c over d Okay, let's actually have to use the capital letter, same thing. So don't want to confuse you with C over D. Okay, so I am assuming these two fractions are equal. Well, we have to be we have to be very careful. B and D cannot be equal to zero. If they are zero, it's gonna be undefined. So we have to be careful on that. Okay. Now if we assume they're equal by definition of proportionality, right, we can cross product. We can say A to D, C to B to C, right? So we can really write down AD equal to BC. Again, they must equal in both sides in order to form a proportion. Now, what I mean, let's have an example. If you do the cross multiplication, it gives you 4 equal to 4. Is it equal? Yes. So therefore it calls a proportion. Okay? Proportion. Now guys, proportion is very powerful tools in our algebraic system. Algebra. Okay? It's very powerful. You know, especially when it comes to solve application problem. Okay? So proportion, if you know three things, if you read the problem, of course, any application problem, you first read it, read it, and check out what is unknown. Then you deceive a plan, actually, okay? Devise a plan. And then you carry out the plan. So that carry out the planning part, you should recall your proportion or you know proportion concept actually. As you see, we are actually working on that. So if you know three things, so for example, you know, you have A, you know, you know the B equal to, you know the D, and this one you don't know, that's unknown. Clearly, we can find out. Yeah, let's have an example on the left. Look at that. I have an example on the left, right? So I'm just I'm just gonna make it up here actually, okay? I'm gonna say uh, 15 ducks, okay? 15 ducks. One man can catch 15 ducks. Five men will catch how many ducks? Look at that here, guys. Look at that problem down here, right? So clearly, some of you saw. I can just, well, since this one is 5, I can make this as a 5. So I'm going to multiply by 5. I'm going to multiply this by 5. Absolutely, you can do so. You can multiply. Also, you multiply by top by 5. And that would be 75. Answer is there, ready. Okay, so this is like mental thinking, right? But I can use the same concept in proportion. So, you know, let's take a look here. How can I actually apply that here? So, 15 ducks over one person equal to, we don't know how many ducks, five person can catch, okay? So, let's work it out here. We can just set up a cross multiplication so we can say you know what x times one which is x equal to five times 15 is 75 and definitely what are you looking for you're looking for ducks right well if you look into here on the bottom right 
this one and this one is same unit so they will disappear anyway so what is the unit left over is the darks so you can say that much is basically that much is basically we are looking for that many darks five individual okay five persons can catch 75 ducks okay so this is how we connect proportion rate and ratio together okay thank you for watching this video i hope you understand